you know, Logan, Logan Paul is. Yeah. So he he purchased a $3.5 million sealed case of first edition Pokemon cards and then realized they opened it up, opened one of the boxes, and it was f- filled with G.I. Joe cards. So he was scammed. Scammed out of his $3.5 million US. So it's four point something million Australian. Uh, rumor has it has it it's a publicity stunt. Some say it is, some say it's not. Who knows? Um, but can you could you imagine whether you've got all the money in the world buying a three point five million dollar collectible sealed and then realizing it's fake? What a okay, what a kick so of the ball that would be. Couple of things on this. I'll give you my opinion. Firstly, he got his money back. He did so apparently. Yeah, he, he did yeah. get his money back thanks to Michael Quigley in the group who shared all that information. Uh, surely you do your due diligence. Now, within about two minutes of him posting pictures of the case, there were Pokemon nerds all around the world going, oh, yes, it's definitely a fake. It's got the wrong (laughs) serial number. So, uh, you know, they knew straight away. All right, let's keep going, mate. So community community events. uh, I posted in the um, Facebook group yesterday that He-Man exhibition in Melbourne looked bloody outstanding. Um, I think it was Mark, Mark Bird. He went there and showed some photos. Some of the art, some of the pieces that they were showing, I read in that article that I shared that uh, a lot of the local collectors or Australian collectors donated their stuff to, sorry, lent their stuff to be shown at the exhibition. But I would love to see a, you know, a Hasbro exhibition like that. That'd just be outstanding. Would you lend your stuff? Yeah, absolutely. It's in boxes anyway, so I wouldn't have to uh, (laughs) pack them up. I um, absolutely. I like the look of it. You know, when I was uh, many years ago, I went to Melbourne for a uh, TV show I was on and um, was able to see a um, computer game expo like that. It was really cool. Uh, yeah, had all cool. the old vintage games and had uh, spiels about them all. So yeah. unfortunately, it didn't help me win $50,000 on the TV show. But uh, <laughs> yeah. You were close, mate. You were close. Well, mate, that wraps up our first community news segment for the year. So how about we listen, hear a word from our major sponsor, Go Figure Collectibles. The Wrestling With Figs podcast is proudly supported by Go Figure Collectibles. I can't believe this. Go Figure Collectibles have been established for over 20 years and have an extensive range of wrestling figures, DVDs, and merchandise. Go Figure Collectibles offers a huge variety of pop culture items such as Funko Pops, statues, TV, movie, and video game memorabilia, and so much more. It's a fact for you, mate. For all the Wrestling With Figs podcast listeners and Figs Down Under community members, use code FDU5 to save 5% off your next purchase store-wide. You're going to be joking me! 5% yeah. Visit them online at gofigurecollectibles.com.au or if you're in the Melbourne area, go check out the store on 104 Bakers Road, Coburg, North Victoria and say good day to Jeff and the team. Goodbye, mates. Support local and support Go Figure Collectibles who continue to do great things for the collecting community down under. And go. Now this week's Go Figure item of the week, I've chosen a pop... Steve Irwin, have you seen this? Crikey. Crikey. You know, a man loved worldwide from all around the world. People just thought this guy was nuts, but they couldn't couldn't help but love him. And it's a it's a great pop. The pops, they just make everything and everyone, don't they? Pops uh, must be making a fortune, I reckon. Oh. But uh great uh great little fig there. Uh, I wonder if they do obviously with this one, if you look at it on the people who are watching. It says um, Australia Zoo on it, and I'm assuming that some profits would go to Australia Zoo, and that's why they've licensed Steve. He's holding a snake, like a bit like uh, Jake the Snake there. But uh, my yep. question is, are there more in the series? Is there like a Bindi and a Terry, or is there just the Steve? Question. Good question. But while, while we're talking about Pops, Jet, Go Figure Collectibles have a, a massive, massive display of uh, pops they've got hundreds or even thousands of pops on display that you can uh, get down there and purchase or go online and always uh use code ftu5 to receive your five percent off well that's it for go figure let's go straight into merch perch dude i went down to the shops to pick up some fruit and veg i couldn't help myself went down to the toy aisle you never believe what i got what you get what you get i got some figs what you get? What you get? Found some figs. Hey, um, are you happy for me to go first? 
Absolutely. Hey, first, before I do Merch Perch, I wanted to do this before, but we got sort of mucked around with my uh, own children. Uh, I want to show you this. Talking about the Royal Rumble, how good is this piece of art? You said Ric Flair was your favourite moment. Yeah, This that's is it. my mate Sam Evans, who's a local Perth analogy, who does uh, wrestling out and he loves Hasbro's. Uh, and if you can't see it, it's a picture, it's an art work of Ric Flair and Mr. Pervy on the TV with a kid watching all his Hasbro's lined up on the that's ring. Right. Uh, Absolutely sensational. I love the fact he's nailed the 80s carpet as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's you got, awesome. uh, uh, yeah, all your favourite superstars, Snooker on the on the top rope. Uh, and that just yeah. is every, all of our childhoods. Now, yeah. uh, moving on to Merch Perch. Now, I've had a huge couple of weeks. I've shared a lot of them in the group. First one uh, was this, uh, the card on the left there is the Matthew Pavlich um, goal kicking great signature card. Pairs nicely with his signature rookie card, um, which was a nice pickup over the holidays. I bought a nice new book, Scotty Pippen Unguarded. Ah. Haven't read it yet, but I'm uh, looking yeah. forward to reading it. And the best part about the book is it's signed by Scotty Pippen. Um, so uh, happy with that. It was, wasn't that expensive either. Uh, the only thing that I don't love is that he signed a plate, a sticker plate, and they've stuck it in the book rather than sign yeah. the physical book itself. But that that's just life. You sort of expect that. Uh, yep. Now, in the, fig, in the fig world, I picked up uh, the Motu Hitman and Junkyard Dog and also the Andre and the Slaughter from um, Robo Toys, which is an Australian a digital toy company. Uh, thank you, Robo Toys. It wasn't too expensive and they shipped pretty quickly. So that was good. Uh, my son, look at this one. He picked hey. up a battle cat. He picked up a battle cat with uh, He Man there. Uh, so That's well cool. done. That was a Christmas gift. Uh, oh, oh, shared the wrong image. Wrong image. I also picked up while we we're talking earlier a nice uh, Ben Simmons graded rookie card, Gem Mints. Uh, that for that would have been about thirty-five cents, wouldn't it? Uh, I actually traded this for something that was probably worth about thirty bucks. So uh, yeah. I thought this is an investment, buy low, sell high. Uh, when he yeah. comes back and he dominates, then this yeah, card's going to be so. the roof. Let's hope so. So that's me, mate. Stuff, mate. Church. Some good stuff Great there. Stuff. Mate, I've, I've, I've started the year with a bang. Now, I'll start with, as I said earlier at the, uh, the top of the show, I received my Mattel Elite 90 Big Boss Man. Great figure. Really, really good figure. Jackson's going to hate me for saying this, but the worst figure out of the classic superstars line is the big boss man. I don't know if you've ever seen it or <laughs> had it. It is the worst figure in the Jack's classic superstars line, and that's and that's saying something. And the two boss mans that have come from Mattel have been spot on. I think the the first uh, I can't remember what series it was, but I have that one as well. The 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 first boss man that was released with Mattel needed a bigger gut. He needed to be fatter, but still, it's a great great figure. But this one here. Uh, brilliant, brilliant figure. Yeah, agreed. Uh, I wish Pop, well, Vinyl Pop or Pop Vinyls, whatever we want to call them, I wish they would stop releasing Michael Jordan because every time I see one that I haven't got, I, I buy it. I'm now up to about seven or eight nice. uh, Pop pop vinyl. So that's the latest one that, that has been released. And here is my purchase of 2022 thus far. Truth be told, it's not in hand. Uh, it's currently on its way to the graders, but I finally jagged myself a WWF Hasbro Series 3 green tag, and I've got the, the Macho Man green tag. So very, very happy that completes my one Series 1 to 4 green tags. Got one from every series now, and this has been a, a three-year journey, would you believe? A now, three are you going to get them, are you gonna get them to grade this one up with the tag on the side like the other one? Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like the rest. Yep, like the rest of them. So that leaves me down now, Chris, to I need an original concept drawing from Series 2 and 4, and then I'm done with Hasbro's. My question for you, James, is have you sold your bag mail away? Hogan? Yeah. No, not yet. So I've sold, I've sold um, uh, Undertaker Brett. and Brett yet. The Hogan wow. mail away is still there. I saw you list it yesterday or the day before, and uh, it was a very good price, so I'd say people were jumping on that. The other thing yep. um, uh, that I was thinking is um, I've got a lot of defining moments still for sale. We talked before at the Christmas episode, and I was selling them and uh, sold quite a lot of them, um, but I've 
We've got about eight or ten left. So if anyone's looking for defining moments figures, I will do you a very, very good price if you are nice. interested in a couple um, deals for multiples. So congratulations. Thanks, mate. I That's just want to just want to say a quick, I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone that uh, I've sold a lot over the last couple of months. I want to say a huge thank you to everyone that has uh, bought from me, paid on time, and if they've wanted me to hold it for them, they've paid when they said they're going to pay. Easy transactions, just you know, and they and they, and they thank you for when, you know they thank you when they get them. Um, yeah. You know, I don't expect you to put anything in the group, but when they do it, you know, it means something because it's it's uh, nice to know that you're happy. Uh, but it's been been dealing with a lot of great people. So uh, thank you. Um, here's my pet, you know, here's my pet hate, right? What I can't stand is when you sell stuff online on a Facebook group and someone laughs. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Oh, they haven't got the balls to say a comment about the price. They Obviously, they don't agree with your price, right? Mm. If you don't agree with the price, guys, move on. Because if you don't agree with the price, nine times out of ten, you don't even know what you're looking at. We've got a couple of members in our group who do that quite a bit. Oh, yes. Uh, but yeah, you know good. what? They're sneaky because they do it on the WWE buy and sell page, and I can still see it. But yeah. I'm not the police, yeah. so I don't care. Do whatever you want. But uh, uh, but they, I, just, but they, I they, agree. They, but they take it away when they uh, get they take it away when they uh, get challenged. So that's uh, that's the annoying thing. Oh, if you're gonna laugh. If you're gonna laugh at someone. There's price, a live comment. There's a there's a live comment. <laughs> If you're going to laugh at someone's price, back it up by leaving a comment. And if you don't know what you're talking about, move on. And another thing that annoys me, when you're selling stuff from Australia and you're selling it on a European page, an American page, and you list your price and they have a go at you, and you go, read the, read the description in Australian dollars. They look at it and go, oh, that must be British pounds or that must be American dollars. This guy's a ripoff. Mm. Please, take your time, read what I'm saying, and then, then have your say. Don't leave yeah. a smiley emoji because you're a oh, you're annoying. That, you're a pest. I'll say that, James, is uh, that's your fault for not listing it in US dollars. <laughs> yeah. We all know that. Uh, and hello, good evening, Mark Bushy, or good morning if you're watching. We all know our American friends are not the best with their maths, so um, you need to make it as easy as for them as possible. Oh, so, mate, you want my product? You want my product? Go to Google, convert whatever the dollars is into your currency, work it out for yourself, and then we can do a deal. I'm, actually, mate, I, I might know somebody. We don't need that. to. We don't need to bend, bend over backwards for anyone all the time, mate. Stuff that. Stuff I'm, that. I, I may know somebody looking for a mail away Hogan. Actually, I might. I just thought of something, so I might uh, hit you okay. up afterwards. Hey, um, cool. uh, members, merch perch. Before yes. we can listen to your rants any longer, I picked this figure. <laughs> I should, uh, Picture I showed it earlier. This is As Galea. I've got a funny feeling I chose him in the last episode as well. So he's picked yep. up the Chase guy, Brutus, yeah. the DDP Legends, the Hot Rod Legends, and the Macho Man uh, Cream of the Crop Legends with a nice Elite 91 Hogan uh, in box still. Uh, I just bought that Hogan from our mate Jacob Bennett. Uh, so hopefully that'll be on its way soon. Uh, Jacob, if you're watching, let me know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so yes, the, um, the really cool pickups. Uh, I love the Legends line at the moment. Uh, I thought they're doing a great job. Your pickup was your members' merch perch was mine was Daniel Lang with a NECA exclusive uh, pack, which is the Cat Moment from Channel Six. Uh, great, That's okay. great pieces. Well, April one. Yeah, it's but she's the cat woman from one of the cartoons. She turns into a cat woman. I can't remember no, why. That was just after, that was just after she had kids, mate. <laughs> but ooh, 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 ooh. but they've got, it's got the whole news crew there, so that's a great uh, exclusive pack. So that was my choice for the week. Well done, Daniel. Well done, Daniel. All right, well done, mate. Some good merch over the holidays. Yes, yes. So uh, members' merch purchase – sorry, merch purchase over. So let's jump into my favourite segment, which is what's online. Did you see what was online? What was online? Some bloke selling some LJN figures on eBay. What's he asking? He's asking too much. Well, did you make an offer? Make an offer. You can't make an offer. It's an auction. Well, just slide into his DMs. Maybe he wants to let them go for less. Maybe he's just trying to whet your appetite. Well, I don't know. Well, just make an offer. I can't make an offer. It's an auction. Well, they just slide right in to the DMs. What else is online? Oh, there's so much stuff. There's so much stuff online. Hey, uh, jumping into what's online, I've got a couple of things to share first. Uh, firstly, just noticing the last couple of days, people finding in the US Legends Series 13. 
Uh, here's a picture of Legends 30.